Wase wase. Hey, look what I have. Delicious, sweet, healthy capsicum. Isn't it yellow capsicum? Pia wakona red capsicum. Na hii ni show ya youth in agriculture. Jina lango ni Marion Munyao Nganga. Niko excited kusababu leo tukona Lois Kabuti. Ambaye ako in her early 20s na naniambia saindo anendelea kusoma kusu agriculture. Na imagine ame kwa kifanya agribis for the last Three or so years, Alianza 2019. Nimeko siyesabu? Ha, tutajua. Niko excited that tutakuwa informed leo kwenye show na karibu sana. Tune tuka meet. Youth in agriculture. Yes, I did. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, you, yellow variety mm -hmm. yes how did you start okay we started um, yeah. 2019 mm -hmm. after uh, at that time tulikuwa tunazifanya nje tulikuwa tunazifanya kwa open field uh, sasa venye tulikuwa tunazifanya kwa open field unapata um, uh, these are indeterminate varieties mm, indeterminate indeterminate varieties in a manisha they continue the, the, the zina continue to grow mm. kila wakati. Uh, unlike zile za the green ones, zenye uwa zina harvest, uwa zina set all the fruits at the same time, then they harvest at the same time. Easy mm. uwa zina continue. Uneza, uneza zi harvest for even a year. Wow. Yeah. So uneza una a year in an open field venye uta sumbuliwa na magonjwa. Mm -hmm. So tulikuwa tuna pambana, magonjwa, baridi, mm powdery mildew magonjwa hivi so we had to come up with an idea yeah kuzifanya in a controlled environment mm. and this is the greenhouse yenye tulijenga tuka tukazipanda ndio tuweze ku, ku, ku the cost ya production kwa mm. chini yes let me take you back kidogo when you were young how was it green up Okay, <laughs> nimeriziwa in a family where we kufanya agriculture mm. kutoka mdogo. But that time we, we were doing uh, ma school, ma cabbage mm -hmm. na mahindi na maharagwe. So mahindi na maharagwe azinanga mambo mingi. But ile kitu iliko inatuchokesha sana ni kuenda kulima. Yes. So at that time uh, umelelewa kwa hiyo background, unaenda ukilan things pole pole so after kusoma eh, nika come up na hii idea ya kufanya uh, kufanya capsicum but before yeah. nilikuwa nimeenda kwa a farmer mm -hmm. alikuwa amezifanya before eh, kwa open field kwa open field e eh, akaniambia challenges zenye ana go through but still ana make profit mm -hmm. na nikajaribu nikajaribu of which haiku eh, ni nini sana ju unajua <laughs> Kulima lazima unanguka unamuka. Mm -hmm. Unanguka unamuka. So we came up with this idea ya setup na tumekuwa tukifanya na iko sawa kabisa. Ukiwa mtu yu ulikuwa nataka kukua nini? Ok, nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa nataka kukua engineer. Uh. <laughs> nilikuwa nataka kukua engineer because <laughs> my dad anafanya mambo na engineering mm -hmm. anafanya mechanical engineering yeah. so nili alikuwa anatubeba anatupeleka kwa job kwake tuna tunaona hiyo kazi ikiwa fit kabisa mm -hmm. yeah but eh, venye ni, eh, eh, i joined high school yeah. kulikuwa na hizi uh, clubs za ukulima ukulima young farmers club mm -hmm. uko ndo niliweza ku, kujua idea yenye niko nayo naweza ifanya ni kisha nini nikisha maliza shule Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, wa high school kuna wase wengi walikuwa nataka kufanya story ya agriculture ma kwa kwa hiyo 4K and farmers club. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, uh, kulikuwa na watu wengi mm -hmm. but uh, wengi wao wameenda up uh, ku take different directions, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. juu ya familia mm -hmm. or rather the background. Yeah. Yeah, cause tena kutafuta shamba lazima utafuta shamba yenye maybe una, you can lease mm -hmm. but sasa mimi niko advantage to do nafanya on our land. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Na by any chance kuna vile unapata ma regrets? Ah. Uh, 
kwa sasa sidhani juu pesa tunajifika hapo yes yes yeah amazing sasa wakati mwili kwa mnafanya the conventional farming yani ku farm mahali hakuna greenhouse ukiangalia hiyo mazao mwili kwa mna get hiyo time na sasa hivi mna control hiyo agriculture difference kwa wapi okay ne, kitu moja mhm uh -huh. uh, ukifanya farming uh, kwa field yeah mostly wacha tuseme ni ku risk take cause kwa field mm. e, unapiga da dudu sai wanapotea then jioni wanarudi unaona mm. so obviously if unasumbuliwa na wadudu na magonjwa at the same time uta expect uh, high yields mm -hmm. yes do those are the factors zenye huwa zina zina curb the the mm -hmm. farming mm -hmm. no, no. so ile wakati umezifanya in a greenhouse where you are able to control the pests and the diseases eh, hakuna kitu inasumbua so mm -hmm. ukilisha hii chakula inatengeneza inatengeneza until mm -hmm. unapata imetoa ma, mazao mazao kubwa na sasa hivi vile unafanya story ya greenhouse unajua a lot about agriculture kuna vile pia unaendanga ushago ku impact the knowledge that you have right now do at least to try kwa build ki agribiz yes okay so uh, mostly mm -hmm. na patwa na our retired retired oh. teachers <laughs> yes mostly agriculture teachers yeah unajua wengi wao maybe wako na hiyo wako na theory yeah. but the practical part kidogo yeah ni kidogo mm -hmm. yes so unapata wengi wakipata the, the uh, kazi yenye ninafanya mm -hmm. they want to know how i started yeah. how it is going market wise everything so huwa na wafanyia hesabu kidogo tu hesabu kidogo tu <laughs> yes because uh, advantage ya hizi colored capsicum over the other the green one they are more expensive yeah yeah they are more expensive when it comes to market wise unapata um, he iko maybe triple triple mm -hmm. the price unaona so ukisha zifanya na umepata mazao yako utaweza kurudisha hizo pesa haraka sana mm. juu tuseme umetengeneza ka setup ka greenhouse ya 8 by 15 just like a small one hiyo yeah. haitafikisha a, a hand, itakuwa maybe 100k ku build ako ka greenhouse mm. then kupanda seedlings and whatever tuseme imekuja 120 mm. unaweza pata wakati ume harvest the first harvest umepata even double yeah cause demand iko high iko yeah. high kabisa mm. and obviously unajua wakulima wengi hawafanyi juu wanajua tu in mind at greenhouse ni very expensive yeah. the setup is very expensive mm -hmm. so wakulima ni wachache na demand iko juu mm -hmm. yes yes hii greenhouse ni sis gani okay so hii greenhouse tuko ni ya uh, 8 by 55 oh that is yes. feet ama meters 8 by 55 meters yes 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 in a contain how many plants za capsicum okay in a contain mm -hmm. uh, 2800 2800 Yes. 2800 capsicum plants in 8 by 55. Yes. Meters. The reason being mm -hmm. ukiangalia venye tumetengeneza bed mm -hmm. inaenda drip line mbili. Unaona? Oh, so there are two. So unaweza panda moja moja and uko na hiyo space unaona? Uh, yes. So unaweka hiyo side na hii side. So ukifanya hesabu hizi zote and the other side inaingia hizo. Uh -huh. yes, Which yes. is the least size of land that mtu anaweza anza nayo? Unaweza anza na eh. okay kuna greenhouse ya 8 by 15 uh -huh. that is the smallest greenhouse yenye unaweza anza nayo na itakupea capital uh -huh. yes ya yeah, 8 by 15 Sasa apart from now the greenhouse I'm so sure you need other requirements is any requirements gani zinahitajika Okay for you to start uh, capsicum farming uh -huh. uh, lazima uko umejiandaa vizuri na the right seed yeah because uh -huh. there are very many varieties of Uh, capsicums the, the the red and the yellow na zote ziko na different characteristics mm. so lazima ujue the right variety a hybrid one yeah. then another thing lazima ukue na program feeding program feeding program inaongea kuhusu the first day ulipanda till harvest so the 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 dawa zenye utakukipiga the fertilizer yenye utakuki top dress and everything and hiyo uh, yote ukiwa umeshamaliza hiyo yote ukue na market mm -hmm. 
Yes. Of which market si shida sana ju colored capsicum ziko na demand sana. Eh. Yes. Hiyo story ya market nataka utueleze vizuri sana lakini si sai. Sai tunaenda for short commercial break. Remember keep it youth in agriculture na hapa leo ni story ya capsicum. Usikose part 2 tunakamtu sai.